Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an access control system. On this side, the left hand side, is the Visionist. It can control up to four doors. On the right side is the Ubiquiti Access Hub. Each hub can only control one door. So, for our case, we're installing up to three doors. If you go with Ubiquiti, it adds up quickly. This $200 per unit jumps up instantly to $600. Meanwhile, on the left hand side, since we're doing three doors, the price is still at $250. This video is all about access control. The system lets you control who gets in or out which door. My friend who owns the building doesn't want PIN codes because PIN codes can be shared. With FOB, it's much, much harder to copy FOBs and give it out to other people to share. And inside the software of this vision system, you can see how we can control privileges for users. Let's take a look at the software side. You saw the two-door version earlier. In setting up the four-door version, it's a little bit different. On the bottom right-hand side, don't forget to change your IP settings as seen in the two-door version. When you open Titan again, go ahead and click on Network Controller as before. It's going to find the four-door version. And be sure to change the IP address to something else. So for the two-door version, keep it at 245. For the four-door version, keep it at 246. Totally two separate IP address. If you don't, the Titan software will get confused and it doesn't like to be confused. Now that we've got the 246 IP address, go ahead and click on controller on the left hand side. Right click on it and then go to add controller. Give it a name. Here we're going to give it a name of the office building. Don't forget to change the model number. The model number is the four door version, ETL version 2. There's a total of three doors, but there's no such option, so choose the four door. Be sure to specify the IP address that it's on, which is 246. Click on Save. Let's click on Door on the left hand side. Here, I'm going to give it a name, which is the front door. Somewhere in the middle, you can also rename it. I'm going to name it the front strike. Physically, it will be connected to the output 1 on the control panel. Change the door lock delay to 10 seconds, so when the door is open, there's a 10 seconds delay to enter. I'm going to do this for all three doors. Click on car on the left hand side if you want to add more fobs. You can see the Titan still remember the three fobs that I programmed for the nail salon earlier. If you want to add more fob to this office building, go ahead and right click on it and choose controller add car. Since we're adding new fobs for this office building, go ahead and choose the office building as the controller and then click on OK. Add as many fobs as you want. Once you're ready, click on the red X button at the top. There we go. Click on OK. Go ahead and click on Access Group. And here you can see you can add even more groups to the office if you want. For now, I'm just going to keep it really simple. This administrator group will open all of the doors, no matter what location we're at, whether it's at nail salon or at this office building, which is owned by the same owner as well. He has a bunch of buildings. If you click on employee, you'll see a, a list of employee, but right now I'm naming it the employee based on the FOB number. The FOB himself have laser engraved numbers, but for whatever reason, the numbers do not match. So I'm only using the last two digits of the FOB which is 65 right here, but the car number itself is totally different as you can see. Every time you make any changes, but forget to save, the software is smart enough to remind you if you want to save or not. Once you're all set with the programming side, go down to the setup download on the left hand side, right click on a new controller panel, and then choose start smart download. Because this is the first time that we're going to download all the programs to the control panel. It takes a while. Here you can see I'm getting error code for the nail salon. That's because the nail salon control panel is not connected to my network at this moment. And that's okay because we're only doing the office at the moment. Now let's take a look at the physical hardware of everything. You can see that we've got three electric strike. Two of them are surface mounted. One of them is a normal electric strike. They are all fail secure. 
that means that even if there's no power, the doors are still locked. Here you can see that they're all wired to the NO position. They're all operated on 12 volt DC because this power supply only outputs 12 volts. The black wire of the electric strike goes into the ground. All of the ground pins are connected to each other. And I verify this using a multimeter. One interesting thing to note is that the electric strike from Visionist has a, uh, I don't know what it says, but it's the blue thing. I think it's a re resistor. We have three readers and they're all connected on the right hand side. You only need four wires, so we're not using the brown or yellow wire. One other thing that's interesting to note is that the uh, reader 1 and 2 shares the same power supply, which is the D plus and D minus. Very interesting. I wish they made more pins, but I guess there's no space. Let's try it out right now. This one fob, as I mentioned before, will control all of the electric strike because this is like a, the administrative group. When you scan it, it knows that it's legit. So the relay one is now closed. Let's do it one more time for the reader three. Reader three light is now lit. So we can easily open the uh, door for number three. All right, hopefully you found this tutorial useful for what product to choose for your big house or even a uh, big building. I didn't go over the fire alarm system because uh, these buildings are so old that they don't have any uh, one of these uh, fire alarm tripping kind of thing. But I have no doubt the control panel has the ability to support it. The thing I really like about this Visionist system is that it works perfectly fine offline and there's absolutely no monthly fees whatsoever. If you're aware of any other system that works perfectly fine as such, please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.